Welcome back! We're playing more Phoenix Rides! So we're doing, we, is it Deaf History Month? Or are you lying? Is it really? Oh my God! Happy Deaf History Month! I owe you $20. <laughs> um, we are playing more Phoenix Wright. We're still technically playing the first game, but I'm doing the DLC case now, and I forgot what it's called, but we, st we watched the intro together last time, and it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, so I don't know what it's about, but we're gonna find out today. I'm excited. Oh, this one. Okay. Yay! Hi, Mr. Gabs. Thank you so much. Hey, Trailblazer. Trailblazer? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is it because Twitch called me a Trailblazer today? <laughs> oh my God. I hope you enjoyed um, Rebirth. I've heard amazing things about it. I still need to play the first remake thing and then also Rebirth. So I'm a little behind. Oh God, I forgot about that part. It's Autism Acceptance Month. <laughs> I accept you. <laughs> it reminds me of um, like Trans Visibility Day. If you are trans, I'm looking at you right now. I envision you. Your 20's on the way, Cami. Do you take um, Venmo, Cash App? Pay PayPal, AOL. <laughs> oh, Gabs, it sounds like it's right up my alley because I love a mini game. I love mini games. It's Autism Awareness Day too, and I am very aware. I, for one, am awaring. <laughs> it's been two months since Maya left the office. Oh, that's right, she left. Oh my God, I forgot. Two months without a single trial. That sounds peaceful. Is he complaining? I've had officers, but none I took. Or sorry, offers. <laughs> right off the bat, I can't read. I've had offers, but none I took. That is until the day that girl showed up. <gasps> is it me? God, can someone die already? <laughs> That's like the funniest thing you've ever said, Zoe. No trials. God, can someone die already? Come on, man, I got bills to pay. <laughs> Let's get some murder happening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love streaming this game. Why do I come here to the office every day? Why do I bother coming in when no murder? <laughs> it's not like I wanna work. There you are, finally. Where have you been? <gasps> Who is she? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Um, who are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. Did he just ask me if I'm Mia Fey? Me <laughs> when I come into the office every day. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey is no longer, no longer works here. <laughs> uh, she no longer works here on earth because she's in heaven. So you are the coffee boy? <laughs> My name is on the business. <laughs> it's called Wright & Co. I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right, right. Wait, you're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered though. <laughs> that's a relief then, you're better than nobody. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? This is Phoenix getting a taste of his own medicine because this is exactly how he spoke to Maya. Maya would be like, God, I'm so useless. And he'd be like, yeah. Yeah, you are. This is his karma and he deserves this. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please? I'm 
amount of time, but please, you have to help. It, it's my sister. Oh, he's having flashbacks because her case was with her sister. Oh no, that's sad. <laughs> Maya, could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's, is it Emma or Ema? This is the murder. <laughs> the murder of Phoenix Wright's ego. <laughs> okay, since it's DLC, I guess I'll take the case. <laughs> Ema! <laughs> Cleor, Ema! <laughs> We're five minutes into this case. We can't take anything seriously. It's how you'd pronounce it with two M's. Well, now I want to pronounce it Ima. Ima? Ima Sky? I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator. The fuck does that mean? Ima. Ima was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of uh, jumpy or maybe just young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, damn. Why do his assistants get even younger? Oh, I see. Wait, only 16. I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. Jesus Christ! She's a woman in Mensa. That's our woman in Mensa or whatever it's called. Is it Mensa? That's the genius one, right? Is it? No. Because STEM is science, but also um, Mensa is the genius one. Ima! <laughs> Get your torgs. Your torgs. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Mensa is smart people in general. Okay, so she can be in STEM and Mensa at the same time. Okay, got it. My work is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. <laughs> my, my career path is sixth grader, but I'm ready to do my job at my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. So what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. Ooh. Okay, we're moving a little fast. Is my camera kind of off? I feel like it is. Eee. That's better. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. <laughs> me, when people say they saw me in Paris. I don't care if someone said they saw me in Paris. I wasn't in Paris. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her, you have to talk to her. Right, I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but that's interesting. How would she know Mia? My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in high school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. Well, Mia's dead, so thanks for bringing that up. And well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. <laughs> now that you mention it, <laughs> I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Well, actually when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. It's always a car accident. It's always a car accident. Why not something fun, like a nuclear plant explosion or something? We gotta find another death. Or something from like, what remains of Edith Finch? Like one of those. Oh, I'm sorry. So you wanna be a scientific investigator when you grow up then? Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. 
This sounds exactly how I was at 16. Cause like at 16, I had a job. I was paying my own phone bill and stuff. And I was like, I'm an adult, I'm an adult. And then I actually became an adult and was like, oh, I'm not an adult. I'm not an adult. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah, sure can't fault her for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. Dayla, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, I appreciate it. That's very sweet. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Ima. <laughs> Listen, if they wanted me to pronounce it Emma, they should have added another M. <laughs> How hard is it? Oh, that's, that's, uh, I was like, they look exactly the same. <laughs> Mima. <laughs> Not like that. Ima. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Ima. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. Oh my God, are they twins? They are twins. Sorry, ma'am, it's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this here, hmm? Uh, understood, ma'am. Huh? What was that all about? Hi, Lana. Lana Del Rey? I got my red dress on. Home? Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Ima. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Right, right. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Oh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? <laughs> I'm a professional felon. <laughs> I'm a professional stabber. I'm somewhat, uh, I'm somewhat a master in the stabbing trade. My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. She's a chief prosecutor. Well, then she can handle herself. Why am I here? And the DLC. We don't need this. You're a prosecutor? Two sisters, one lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Ima. Lorna. I mean, they're just like <laughs> Maya and Mia. So sad. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Yeah, I'm sad. I'm thinking of my dead friends. There's something you should know from the start, which is the suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Isn't she the suspect? <laughs> huh? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is <laughs> me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st at 5.15 p.m. It's quite pus 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 <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> Sound it out. I hate you all. <laughs> That's quite specific. It was in the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? <laughs> the crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. <laughs> I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed as it were. Well, that's just great. <laughs> so, if it was in the subordinate's car, why wouldn't the subordinate be a suspect? <laughs> the case is closed. Roll, roll the credits. We don't need to be here. So who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. 
I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. <laughs> She's not answering the question. Not gumshoe. He's dead, y'all. Time to get over it. <laughs> get us a new, de a new detective. New hunky detective. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means the police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. But she also doesn't want my help. Do not kill the silly man. <laughs> the silly man. <laughs> So you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. It's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Do you do anything? <laughs> Guys, I think I like women. <laughs> Guys, I'm having a crisis. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible. You wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? <gasps> she got caught stabbing. Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. <laughs> is she okay? Is she like a shapeshifter? I feel like someone shapeshifted to look like her. And that's why she's talking so weird. <laughs> Not a dog, look at my client. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Ima told you that too, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey. It was in law school. I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was on top of her class in school. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I was the best there was. Oh, I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. <laughs> Ima's like, thanks for asking. It sounds a bit different when Ima says it. Well, Mr. Wright, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I admit my guilt. I think it's safe to say, there's no way you can take this case, none. But Lana, why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I, I hate you, Lana. <laughs> didn't she just say she was all grown up? <laughs> and now she's like, I hate you. Mr. Wright? Yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um. You mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. <gasps> but she, she said I could. She said I could though. She said. All right, I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. She's a shape shifter. I'm calling it. <laughs> I think she's actually someone else. It's that look in Ima's eyes. I think I'm just gonna start saying Emma. It's so hard to say Ima. Ima! There's something else going on here and I'm gonna find out what. Phoenix Wright in the case of the missing booty hole. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister, she's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. 
She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. <laughs> you what? <laughs> the what? <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself. And I don't need to. And I won't. And I shan't. And I will not. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. Let's go, Rima. <laughs> Don't worry about it, chat. It's none of your business. So this is the lot where it all happened? Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey, everyone. Keep up the good work. Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my coworkers three years from now, after all. <laughs> I love her. She's ambitious. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying to not stand out too much here, see? Hey there! You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? Do we got another southern accent in Phoenix, right? Partner? Excuse me? It's high noon. What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. <laughs> Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. What the hell is going on? Mr. Marshall. Marshall looks more like a sheriff to me. Look here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing to mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. <laughs> what are you gonna do, lasso me? You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You wanna? What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Is that an inhaler? What is that? You head along home now, Bambina. Happy trails. He said that because I'm a trailblazer. By the way, he knows. Did he drop his wallet? Was that a uh, ombre of friend of yours? Was that ombre of friend of yours? Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah, he's a detective who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. <laughs> Did he drop his wallet? What is this? What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer. Wait, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, get your grubby little fingerprints all over it and shove it in your pocket and take it away from the crime scene. Now that's science. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. A foldable wallet found at the crime scene. There seems to be something inside. Well, open it. I'm called to duty already at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now, look at the court record. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. <gasps> I can turn it around? We're going 3D. Now let's start examining from every angle. Ooh! Oh, look, I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out with a press of Enter. I'm assuming that's A. <gasps> is that the detective? This is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID 5842189. See, well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess, though I don't see what science has to do with it. I like his little um, tie or scarf thing. Investigator ID card found at prosecutor, prosecutor's office. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. Uh, ladder? Aha, ladder. 
Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate these jokes. <laughs> I hate these jokes. Enough. Enough. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, get used to him, it's the meme. <laughs> well, maybe it's both, kind of a dual purpose. Aha, the theory of relativity. What? <laughs> I've got to write this down. Ah, hey, hey, Mr. Wright, maybe you know. Was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? Mr. Relativity. Are you sure that was his name? <laughs> I love how we didn't get an answer to that. Look, a door, this must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open, a mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. It was Einstein, well, there you go. <laughs> he was American, oh, okay, Chad is fighting. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? What about the phone? Here, a phone, let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? What is bro yapping about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drum over here is on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. <laughs> in fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. <gasps> There's more! Oh, it's a car! Oh my god, he dangled. Jeez. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. <laughs> the sheriff. <laughs> Like I said before, this here's our claim. You'd best be moseying along unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. <laughs> this might be John Marston. Gah, <laughs> scary. Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle, eh? Please. No problem, partner. About time for vittles anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. Might just find you a cerveza you like. She's 16. <laughs> Thero, thank you for gifting five subs. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when for that matter? Note to self, look up Vittles Saloon Cerveza. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Cerveza, right? Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. Yes, okay, thank you. In Gucci. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our claim. Right, great. <laughs> well, he's gone, so I can touch stuff now. Excuse me. <laughs> Were you two all set? Us? Hamina, Hamina. <laughs> Where is Becca to go awooga when you need her? <laughs> What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. <laughs> Just pulled that straight out of her jacket. <laughs> Hello, half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. Hey, new sir? Y yes? Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks, interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance, especially passersby. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but you, you don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Um, you have boobs, and that means you can't be in places of authority. 
Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone, <laughs> even if my days as the cough up queen are over. Cough up queen? Cough up, huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, are you? Okay, well now she's kind of a bitch. <laughs> Thank God Women's History Month is over. I can call her that. <laughs> I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? <laughs> a witness clearly saw me committing the crime. But this girl has the same bangs as the person that did the murder in the, in the beginning. Oh my god, Becca's back. Becca, can you say awooga? <laughs> I just need one quick awooga. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up queen, tell us what happened. Please, cough up queen, tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. <laughs> okay. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Who is this person? Yes, ma'am. Yipes. She means it. <laughs> the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. What is she on about? Hi, Janelle. How are you, sunshine? Evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocence. And yesterday, they paid homage, homage, homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for king of prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. <laughs> Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough-up queen. She's, is she chat GPT? I feel like I'm talking to AI. I'm doing good, Jay. I'm having, I'm having an, a weird day. It's like up and down. I don't know. It's very weird. Ew. <laughs> The most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Oh, the subordinate! Ooh! Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear. This lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. To cover seven mucus. I could do that. So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hmm, of course. It's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey? I want. <laughs> I'm begging her to just talk like a normal person. <laughs> Please. Please just talk normal. She always travels light. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the pro chief prosecutor's name? Oh. Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No? Only true connoisseurs can understand. <laughs> the kind you can... Only tell someone who has tried General So's tri Trilobite lunch set. Ah, uh, never mind, you win. 
I don't even want to appreciate part of a trilobite's trilo flavor. I don't know how to say this. What's a trilo trilobite? Thank you. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass walled booth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. <laughs> Useful analysis. Not. <laughs> Damn. He hit her with the not. Great observation. Not. <laughs> That's how you know this game came out in 2001. <laughs> Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Huh, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like 10-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking cough-up queen. Oh, now you're talking cough-up queen? I don't know how to read. Period. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Can you go away? Can I show her something? About this card. Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady, why? I don't know. It's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? Because you are. Because you are. Okay, I think we'll go to the high prosecutor's office. I want to take a stretch break really quick because I want to make some um, hot chocolate for my throat. And also I have to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to take a stretch break. Um, thank you for hanging out. I'm having fun. I love this game. It's a good time. Hello. Welcome back. I have hot chocolate, I have chips, I have cashews, I have water, and I have a passion for justice. And I'm also gonna save just in case. Cause I don't know, it hasn't crashed, but you never know. Oh God, I forgot about her already. <laughs> Welcome back, we saw you in Paris. No, you didn't. <laughs> don't lie. Oh my God. I want one of those uh, like bookshelf ladder things. Ooh, that's how I'll know I've made it. I want one of those. This is the kind of room that just screams I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really? <laughs> There's been a second murder. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, what, that shield? Oh, that must have been the award. It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck up jerk. Phoenix Wright, you never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. Dada? Dada? Long time no see, Edgeworth. I didn't know he was coming back. <laughs> Huh? Ah! M Mr. Edgeworth! I would react like that too. You know him from somewhere? Oh, of course. I'm his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once and... Right. Her sister is the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> well... She kind of hit the nail on the head, to be honest. No, did I? No, it was just Mr. Right here, he... Hey, don't blame me. We were just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? The body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. <laughs> He's like, my nasty bright red sports car? That would be my... cannot help but roast the shit out of Edgeworth. Holy shit. 
<laughs> what of it? How is that his car and they, he doesn't know that they found a dead body in that car? <laughs> what? <laughs> Your car? I'll say one thing, she certainly can't scream. <laughs> oh my God. I love this game. I love this game. It's so fun. Oh. So the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? I literally just defended you in the last case like two months ago. After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean, wait, so you're the chief prosecutor's little sister then? Yes, sir. Ema Sky. It, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. <laughs> oh, now I remember, you've really grown. I'll admit it was a surprise for me too, to think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. Ooh, Ema Sky? <laughs> we couldn't stop calling her Ema because her name is Emma, but with only one M. So I was like, Ema? <laughs> Cleor, Ema. You, Mr. Edgeworth. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time where there weren't rumors about this guy, but then we fell in love. <laughs> Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. Is that a toy? They think it's funny. Toy, is that bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky. yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. He's only been doing big cases for two years. They rumored he would do everything to win a case. Well, we kind of did do everything to win that case. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken, why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? His fucking smirk. How does he do that? <laughs> not a thought behind those eyes. Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Ugh, it's not looking good for Edgeworth. <laughs> what? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Edgeworth's knife added to the court record. Hmm. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Are you sure? You can be honest with me. I won't be mad. <laughs> Then why did she ruin my life? Hi, Max, how are you? Come on, can you take a joke? <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. All right, well, can I present something? Who is this good man? Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright, huh, what? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he's the prosecutor, I can't. I'm going against him, I can't. Never mind. he'll take it for sure, won't he? I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, this is literally, this is 100% karma for the way that he spoke to Maya. 
If she sighs any deeper, I'm gonna start getting depressed. <laughs> All right, well, can I ask him about the knife? It's against my policy to discuss evidence with the defense. Oh yeah, okay, okay. He doesn't like you much, does he, Mr. Wright? Not ever since the breakup. <laughs> All right, well, bye, I guess. See you later. <laughs> Isn't that disclosure? Prosecutor and defense have to share each other evidence. The laws in Japanifornia are a little vague. <laughs> Hi, Laurent, how are you? Hell yeah. Someone got murdered. Turn up the music. Mm. Can we talk to her again? No, okay. Um. See this? Ah, I'm not like the defense attorney and have a certain thing to want to stop people then. <laughs> what is this, a behavioral study of lawyers? <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I have to examine the office. I wonder if I'm allowed to. Hey, a chessboard. I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pond. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. <gasps> it's a metaphor for the guy that got stabbed. And check, check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. <laughs> surrounding me? <laughs> Yay, sexy lunch lady detective. <laughs> this game is to the law what Mario is to Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> That is the best way you could have put it. <laughs> oh, this game is so fun. Whoa, these are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Let, no, no, don't say it. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. <laughs> Other dada. Strange, why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Mmm, tea? Ooh, cute, what a pretty tea set. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing, the drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Phoenix is such a Debbie Downer. Let her enjoy her tea, you freak. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Mm, prosecutor. <laughs> huh, what's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. King, King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for king? Yeah, you got a problem with that? <laughs> I didn't design the thing. Kind of like employee of the month. <laughs> kind of like employee of the month. Given to Edgeworth, king of prosecutors at the PD on the day of the murder. Uh, anything else I can take with me? A work desk. It's quite tidy as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Why does he keep getting psychic visions of Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. <laughs> oh, it's the Steel Samurai! My, 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 what an amazing bouquet. Just a right for Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, it's a bouquet. 
No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. If my sworn enemy sent me a bouquet of flowers with a note that said, I'm back, bitch. I'm back from the dead. I, bitch, I lived. I'd have to go into hiding. I would grow a mustache, change my name. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. Have I? And beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. Who is Wendy? <laughs> Wendy, is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Oh, it's old bag! Um, I don't think so. Oh my God! I don't remember her name being Wendy. Okay, so I have the K. That's the King of Prosecutor Shield, huh? Well done, Edgeworth. You must be proud to be King of Prosecutors. Congratulations, King of Prosecutors. Please stop saying that. That still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? What the hell is this pirate coat? Wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right, I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. <laughs> old bag, that's old bag. Okay, is that everything? Can I go? Maybe I can ask her about the trophy? Could you take a look at this? You. Yes. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? No, but thanks. She didn't even look at me. Hmm, <laughs> you must have to brew the leaves a long time to get a rich flavor like this. We pre-infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I'm not even gonna question it. I'm having a good time with the music. I knew it, so that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite. The only thing I'm smelling here is wasted time. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, detention center? What now? I don't know what to do now. Here, see this? Ah, I've noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to want to show people things. Oh, this again. Oh, I forgot, you can examine stuff now. I forgot. Hey, check it out, there's a metal plate here. Hmm, it looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. Wow, one guy's listed a bunch of times. Von Karma, I guess he must be a foreigner. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably it. Well, wherever he's from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. When she says it, his name does have kind of a ring to it. Can I, o I wanna open it. We're going 3D, everybody. Okay, I guess I can't investigate anything else. What about this? Murder weapon. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth's cut himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Edgeworth in the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Oh, there's a scary thought. He's dead. He's passed away. Is that it? Okay, hopefully that's all I need to do. <gasps> Can I investigate my badge? Ah, look at how pretty it is! 26381. So this is what the back of the badge looks like. And I always thought it had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> no, I'd be found out right away. Well, that's no fun. 
Congratulations. You're an attorney now. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. We just started and I'm already stuck. Look, a stylish glass walled room. Very nice. You could see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe. <laughs> Why is she here? <laughs> Why is she here? Oh, I love her, but she's so dumb. So dumb. Huh? Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but I think that's probably just a security guard office. You know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. <laughs> Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. Oh. Bless her heart. This wall is in our way. It's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank. I fail to see how it makes any difference either way. I can't slide. I'm really grasping at straws. <laughs> I am really trying. Ugh. Can I move in here? No. I've examined everything. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. I bet he pours over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. I bet in the morning he has, a sofa, he has sofa hair and little creases in his cheek from the seams. He's so cool. <laughs> sofa hair is cool. Uh, I'm kind of... I'm kind of stuck. Can someone nudge me in the right direction that knows what to do next? Whoa, what a view. It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, were you to jump out of this window, the time until impact with the ground would be... <laughs> Got it, approximately 3.23 seconds. That's what I need to know. <laughs> She's writing fan fiction in her head. Is there someone in this room you haven't presented things to? I, th I can't present anything to him, it seems like, because he's on the opposing team. <sighs> Just look around, Ned. Thanks, Ned. <laughs> he's like playing video games while we're on the phone. He's like, I don't know. Just look around. Oh, I haven't picked up something. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. I feel like I saw everything in here. Cause I examined this a bunch of times already and it's in my court record. <gasps> you can see the people's profiles too. I didn't know that. Okay, let's go to no! Uh. Parking lot? No, I examined everything here too. Didn't I? Huh? Do I have to go to my own office? Do, 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 do. Please don't make me go through all of these. I'm begging you. <laughs> Please. What didn't I pick up? Time to bribe people. Hi, C of E. How are you, sunshine? 
How are you doing? Thank you for the raid. Yeah, I'll take another gentle nudge. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sunshine. How was your stream? Also, if you need to go like chill and stuff, that's totally fine. Don't feel obligated to stay if you're tired. <sighs> I don't want to examine stuff in here. There's something you haven't presented to your boyfriend. Okay. I just kind of assumed, because every time I tried to present him something, he'd just be like, I'm the prosecutor. You can't talk to me. So I just kind of assumed I couldn't. Let's try again. Um, The knife? No. So the, the trophy. Okay, 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 okay. So basically, this says you were the best of the best last year, huh? Thank you, I appreciate it. You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. <laughs> huh? Why's that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. <laughs> he doesn't seem too concerned about his award for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Got it. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I just marathon these games, so a lot of it is fresh in my mind. Thank you. Thank you for giving me like a soft hint and not just being like, you have to talk to Edgeworth. <laughs> I was doing some art. Oh, fun! That sounds lovely. I wish I could draw. My drawings come out looking horrific. <laughs> They're so bad. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. <laughs> no, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edgeworth parking stub. Ooh, parking stub. Not 1712. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 515. Damn, that was like right after he got in. So the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... This is how all of my mods behave. <laughs> oh my god, they didn't tell me my mods were gonna be in this in this game. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth, what is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find a new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Skye? <laughs> I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. His what do what? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth's lid is not very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, but sir. I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement with us, sir. <laughs> Give me your name. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins, take your report and shove it up your ass. He said that. And good luck with that raise next month. What a cunt. What is Edgeworth's problem? Except instead of sir, we say milady at Avery's request. <laughs> Thanks for throwing me under the bus and being like, um, yes, we're weird, but because Avery asked us to be. Uh, 
But sir, I, I didn't know. Poor guy, looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Phoenix, they're so evil. They deserve each other. That's so mean, right? I yes, sir. <laughs> he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The cat is eating plastic again. I heard the crunching of plastic and I was like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. I think it reminds them of the days when they were still strays on the street eating plastic. The victim was a detective from the same department as the patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down at least. So we can go. We can go now. Yay. They have a mascot? Oh my God, that's right, they have a mascot. Having a police mascot is so weird. That's so weird to me. Like this isn't Disneyland. <laughs> uh, phew, we're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me, that took almost 30 minutes by taxi and traffic wasn't even that bad. The police department, huh? I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. Hmm? Hold on, what's that? It's the mascot, of course. Oh my god. Watching Phoenix Wright take the move to 3D is so creepy. <laughs> it feels so wrong, I don't like it. Disturbing, why does it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know, this is the blue badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <laughs> oh, I love Gumshoe. He's such a moron. <laughs> Hi, Adobe. How are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. Man, pal. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You'd better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Well... Detective Himbo. That's him. Gumshoe was vibing. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa, the chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sure. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. What does that mean? <laughs> He's saying all this in front of his, her sister. So what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? <laughs> what did you do this time? Deep faked. In 2001? What do you mean this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? It's 
So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. <laughs> um, isn't there any else, anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. Uh, not Officer Marshall. Was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. Now that I think, now that I think about it, Ima did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Can I show him anything? Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal. This is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. What was that? Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. <laughs> He's so dumb, but I love him so. <laughs> That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Can he? <gasps> yes. So this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective like myself, Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm, don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that, too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot, and Lana's confessing as much. Hmm. Hmm. Can I ask him why the shield is broken? I'm so curious. Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Why? <laughs> why? Uh, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. <laughs> but I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award, even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Naysayers must be because of the rumors. Mm. I'm gonna move around. Oh, I can't go to the detention center. Oh wait, yes I can. He left. He's gone. Okay. Maybe I still have to talk to him about stuff. Um, can I present this bloody knife? Oh. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. What do you know about Edgeworth? He's in a tough spot again. Again? Hey, Wasabi! Oh, not this. <laughs> Can't name the victim in the most high profile case and is still somehow the most diligent detective. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Yeah, but I feel like once you're accused, people just kind of remember that. I don't know. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. 
It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position. <gasps> it's a coup. He's overthrowing. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Damn. Damn. Mao? Is there anything else? Oh, can I check this? Miles Edgeworth. 1712. This is dated the day of the crime. The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was held up at a couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. Just goes to show you never know what'll happen when you run a yellow light. <laughs> yes. That's the takeaway. <laughs> that's what I gathered. I'm stuck again. Because I think I showed... Didn't I show both? I showed both of these, no? Yeah. I'll have to go through all of this again. I'm an attorney. <laughs> Let me show you my bad. Ah, I'm stuck already. Oh no. Patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, hey, you do that, your suit will get cold, buddy. <laughs> but that's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. <laughs> I guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his face. <laughs> they make a good pair. Painter here is announcing the crime fighting campaign. Nice slogan. I wonder if they'll be selling fingerprinting sets. I don't think it's that kind of campaign. What family wouldn't want a set at home? It's good for finding out who snuck into the cookie jar. I think most families can figure that out without the extra help. I always get excited when I come to a police station. Why is that? It just feels like I've jumped into a movie. Huh? You know, with all the police and criminals. Well, I don't know if this is all that exciting. Sure it is. Look at those two officers over there. They're probably talking about the latest bust. Funny, I thought they were talking about the weather. Um, maybe... What's this? Usual wanted posters are hanging up in the bulletin board. Do you know this face? If you do, dial 911. You know, Mr. Wright, I've always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people in these posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. Um, maybe I can ask the lunch lady about the time, because she said she was here. So maybe I can ask her about the thingy. Could you take a look at this? You. Yes. You said you wanted some hot tea. Oh my God. <sighs> She's not on this planet. She's somewhere else. <laughs> no. I don't know why I keep getting stuck on this game. I'm not sure, because I tried to go back to the detention center. He's not here. She's not here either. Um... Yeah, I always get stuck, but this is me with like every puzzle game, so... It's just a me thing. Uh, I was wondering about that. What, the dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. You made this detective gumshoe? The chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. <laughs> what thing? <laughs> nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. It's no, there's no switch, so it just, it just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. Me too. I feel that. 
Poor blue badger, fated to dance until he drops. I also feel that. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I just missed something. A, a work of art designed by the chief of detectives and created by Detective Gumshoe. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is, what was his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the chief of police. Officer Marshall, is he some kind of Wild West sheriff or something? <laughs> No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer from West LA. <laughs> For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, oh, excuse me. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene, maybe. Ooh, letter of introduction. Allows Bear to investigate the crime scene. Cool. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there. Nobody will look at you twice, pal. He's right. He's right. I did that when I snuck into E3. I just like flashed a badge and was like, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> it's me, the blue badger. Finally, some progress. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit until the sun sleeps. Oh, is that him? I see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. <laughs> Oh, is that her? <laughs> oh, still here? Uh, hello. Why the surprise looks, didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. She got two boyfriends. What happened to the security guard? Nah, this feels some, I think she did it. I think she did it. I'm sorry. She comes to bring lunch to this office every day and she has two boyfriends. One that works in security in this parking garage and also one that works in criminal affairs? No, she's, she did something. Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that lost his herd. <laughs> Jake Marshall, <laughs> strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. I brought this here letter for you. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? <laughs> I mean, what's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right into the spittoon. <laughs> it's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, uh, that old cow dog? Hmm. He holding a birthday party or something? Huh? <laughs> Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Uh, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe better than a blood test. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be one of her boyfriends as well? <laughs> Can I be next in line? Guess I'd better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or hire? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settlers. Strike out for lands unknown. <laughs> Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot nanny. Note to self, police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. Detective Gumshoe's letter of introduction, crumpled and discarded. Onto the ground, we littered. Okay, so I can go? <gasps> ah! We're here. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Subordinate's ugly car. Quite a luxury car. It just screams I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, something's written on it. Hmm. Goodman. Six, seven, five, twelve, two. Let's see. Oh, S. It's an S. 67S122. There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so what does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Note to self. For deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. <laughs> I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. Maybe, um, I bet, uh, what's his face would know? What's his name? Can I do the phone? This looks like a cell phone. 
Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Yes. <laughs> right, let's check it out. <laughs> Open the phone. Oh my god, I forgot phones look like this. This phone's still on the redial screen. Redial? Um, Mr. Wright, most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> you just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. <coughs> sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just you never know with people from your generation. Dude, she just kills him over and over again. Whatever, let's check this phone out. <laughs> oh my god. Now to see who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. <laughs> hey, that song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over there? Nothing. <laughs> ah, oh, so sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Right when the murder occurred? Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtones. <laughs> oh, that... Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. Huh? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. Oh no. Oh no. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh oh, I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Last call made at 518 on the day of the murder. To Phoenix? To Phoenix, right? Why would she be calling Phoenix? This rope, is it? Yep, they laid it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. Not Phoenix, Arizona. She knew she'd need a lawyer. Yeah, help. You've got to be the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. Um, okay. Let's try... Let's go back to... Can I talk to him? Oh, I can. Um, I want to go back to the police department and ask about the note. And see if he knows. As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. Oh, damn it. I know better than to go blabbing about things I don't know about. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, I can't examine this one. Okay. Then I guess we'll just talk to um, Mr. High Noon over here. <laughs> Working there and trying. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, can you be a little more specific? <laughs> Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? <laughs> detective Goodman was stabbed here at 515. That smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. They said the stomach. 
Didn't they say it was the stomach? This here's the autopsy report. One knife wound died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Goodman's autopsy report. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prospector Skat and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That, that's one reason why he didn't do much work with the Chief Prospector. <laughs> I love talking like that. I want that to be my real accent. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here to this parking lot? So it seems like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. <laughs> I told you. Um, I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You calling me out? They shoot you for that in Texas this again. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hand right now. I'm keeping an eye out on the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. I can't disagree. <laughs> Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. Oh, I forgot the accent. And the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. <laughs> I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's a-blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will. Some, someone's up to something here, but who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence and arranging... Oh, forged evidence and arranging testimonies, you mean? He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina. Chief Prospector Lana Sky. <laughs> it's contagious. My sister? Edgeworth couldn't wrestle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets, some people load them with deals. What, you're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. Do you think we'll be okay? I don't know. Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. <laughs> oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? Ah! That popular TV show for kids? The phone rang earlier, wasn't mine. Oh! She called her sister! It was yours. Ah! Hi, Mike, how are you? Yeah, I've been playing for like a month now or something. It's really fun, I really like it. At 5.18, just after the murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? 
I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. Cell phone updated in the court record. Okay. A detective is murdered and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. I don't know anything at all, to be honest. <laughs> Dance pool! How are you, Vivi? How was your birthday stream? I think this is a good place to stop for the day because um, it's three o'clock, it's really hot in my room, and I have to take a poop. So I think we'll stop here. I love this game, dude. And I think my voice might be adjusting to the, to the game because like I didn't really have any problems today. It was so fun! I love this game. Thank you guys so much for hanging out.